In this video, we will connect your Stream Deck with your door using virtual MIDI ports. This video is for Mac OS users. If you are a Windows user, please use the link in the description to get to the Windows video. Okay, when you install MIDI or Cubase or Nuendo plugins, they default to MIDI ports with special names, Stream Deck to Door, Door to Stream Deck, and for the Mackie, Mackie control action, it's Mackie to Door and Door to Mackie, and these ports are not present in the system by default. What you do is use the MIDI Studio to define the ports that are needed. So we can define the stream deck to door port and the door to stream deck port. Don't try to use a single port for both input and output. Uh, you will only create a um, MIDI loop and uh, nothing will work. So you need two ports for each function to work as expected. Let's add the port for for the uh, Mackie, Mackie to door and door to Mackie. If you are a Cubase or Nuendo user, I also recommend that you create two additional ports if you want to use, for instance, the note on off action to send notes to tracks. And my recommended name is Stream Deck to door track door track and door track to stream deck I will explain later why that is uh, is important so if we apply those things one thing you should be aware of in Mac OS is the device name IIC driver uh, that will be added to the port name. So the port names uh, as viewed from the plugin will be the device name plus the port name. If you want to use the default port names as defined in the plugin, for instance only Mackie to Door, you need to remove uh, the device, device name altogether. Uh, but we can use um, the default one. You only need to select the correct driver or correct port uh, in the plugin. So we close those. Now, in the plugin, we still don't see uh, the ports that we have created. I really don't know why. Uh, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, but a, a restart of the Stream Deck. Uh, solves that problem. I don't know if it's something in, in the Mac OS or if it's something in the plugin, but anyhow. Now we can connect the MIDI ports that we created. We take IEC Stream Deck Door and IEC Door to Stream Deck. And for the Mackie, we take IEC Mackie to Door and I see door to Mackie. And for the note on off, we can take the ISA stream deck to door track if we want to send note data to tracks. That's all we need to do in the stream deck configuration. Now we need to configure this port in the door so the door and stream deck talk to each other using the same ports. Uh, if we start with Cubase, and goes to Studio Setup. We have a generic remote device that is used by the Cubase action. 
uh, that should be connected. Media input should be stream deck to door. And media output should be door to stream deck. And that should, of course, match the media ports used by the plugin. So the output port of the plugin should be the input port for the generic remote, and vice versa. If we look at the Mackey control, uh, it uses the, the Mackey ports. And in Cubase, we have you do the same thing. We connect the MIDI input to Mackey to door, and the MIDI output door to Mackey. And it's the same thing here. Uh, the out port from the plugin should be in the in port to the Mackey control function in Cubase. Uh, and the same thing applies to, to Nuendo. One final thing that is important is the MIDI port setup, where we have the all MIDI, all MIDI input field. The only thing that is expected to, to go to a track and be in all MIDI inputs is the Stream Deck to Door track. So that one should be marked. Stream Deck to Door and Mackie to Door should not be in all MIDI input. They are expected to go to the generic remote driver and to the Mackie control driver. And the reason for why they shouldn't be in the all MIDI input is that it's basically the same kind of commands that are sent on all these ports. The Mackey control, for instance, most commands are just note on commands. And if you include the Mackey to door in all MIDI input, you will get all those note ons to your track, and you don't want that. So remove those two check marks uh, and you will be fine. And that's all needed in the Cubase setup. Now let's look at the logic setup, where we need to install a control surface. And we take the MCU Pro from Mackie Designs and add that one. And we set the output port to door to Mackie and the input port to Mackie to door. And it's of course the same thing here that the, the output from the uh, plugin should be the input for the control service setup in, in Logic. There is one more thing that is very important in Logic, uh, otherwise you will get very odd results. In the MIDI setup for inputs, you must deselect the ports that are used to send data from the door from Logic. So remove everything that is sending from the door. If you don't remove those ports from the inputs, you will create MIDI loops and uh, Logic will behave very odd if you do that. So that's important. And that's basically what you need to do in Logic to connect everything. And the final thing I want to show is uh, Studio One, where you need to add external devices. You need to add a Mackie control and it would, will receive from Mackie to door and send door to Mackie. And if you want to use, for instance, the note on action to send uh, notes to your tracks, you need to add a keyboard. You can call it Stream Deck, and we should receive from Stream Deck to Door Track, and send to Door Track to Stream Deck. And that is what you need to do in um, Studio One. If you have another door, 
I assume that the configuration is very similar. The only important thing to think about is to use different ports for functions that will be for remote control and things that should reach your tracks. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.